Warning, this battle was not to be taken seriously. Any play, move, or prediction was all made in the act of having fun. Please enjoy the battle. Hey, Pokemon Pit Banish our Pedophile here with another Wi-Fi battle for you today against Big Bird Big Daddy, and this is an Uber's battle, as you can tell by my Steelix. I am not bringing Spec Steelix for you today. Um, too bad, Spec Steelix would have wrecked everything in the Uber's tier. So I'm gonna go for the Dragon Tail, and I miss. What's up with that? But this time I'm like GTFO, and he is out of there. And now he's gonna go into Palkia, and I'm like Palkia, what are you doing? I got sturdy. I got sturdy. What are you gonna do to me, GTFO? But he goes back into Fortress, and I'm like, get out of here. What are you doing, Fortress? I thought I told you to go away, but now he's gonna go into Groudon, and <laughs> Groudon doesn't know what he's doing. I'm gonna say GTFO as he sets up the Stealth Rocks, and I am gonna be able to drag and tell him out. Now he's going to go into Dark Rai, and I am going to go for the Dragon Tail once more, but he does have the Dark Void. Um, I didn't think of it, actually, while I was playing, but uh, not that this game is <laughs> really all serious competitive. I mean, I brought a Steelix, for goodness sake, and that's, like, not even close to my Lol Lolzay's Pokemon. And this Hyper Beam Blissey... It it's not lying, it really does have Hyper Beam, but you don't get to see it because it gets focus punched to death by a Darkrai. Now that was just an awesome prediction, I actually love him for making that prediction. Um, so, one of my two OUs in this game uh, got dead, and so I'm going to go into Farfetch. The rocks are up, rocks are his best friend, trust me, because I'm going to go for the U-turn, he's going to go for the focus punch, what are you doing? Now I have a safe switch. U-turn does like half to a Darkrai. <laughs> What's up with that? I am scarfed. So that's, you know, really nice and stuff. Uh, I do have Zapdos in here now. Um, I will. I think I am going to set up the light screen because I figure he might be mixed or whatever. No, I go for the heat wave because I didn't want him to hit me with the focus punch, I guess. I don't know. It was sun boosted heat wave. It was amazing because Zapdos is a monster in the sun, <laughs> apparently. So now, I figure he's trying to bait me into going for Heat Wave so I can go into Kyogre and pretty much have a safe switch and whatnot. I don't know. So I go for the Volt Switch, and that's not going to be doing very much to the Fortress because he stays in, and he's going to set up even more entry hazards than he already did. But I'm asleep, and he's going to set up spikes. It doesn't matter. Trust me. <laughs> the things he should be scared of are, are not weak to spikes. So I'm just going to try to wake up here. Go for the Dragon Tail like I did again, but he sets up the second layer of spikes, and on this turn right here, he's going to go try to set up the third layer of spikes, but I'm just going to be like, hey, you can set up that third layer of spikes, but you got to do something for me first. Well, afterwards, actually. you got to get hit by this earthquake. Wait, no, it was first. What am I, oh, what am I talking about? Anyway, I am back up to sturdy. Not that that mattered even a little bit. But I think I'm going to hit with another Earthquake. He is faster. I thought that was just faster. Is that a speed tie? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I Dragon Tail GTFO. What am I saying? But anyway, he's going to go into Kyogre. And obviously, he can OHKO if I didn't have the Sturdy. So I, you know what I'm going to tell Kyogre? Do you know what I'm going to tell him? Do you know? I'm going to tell him GTFO. Because he's going to hit me with that skull. But I'm going to be like, I'm not even going to get the burn, first of all. Go living on my sturdy, then I'm going to tell him to GTFO, and then he's going to go into Skyman, and it's like, what's Skyman going to do to me? I know what he's going to do. He's going to GTFO, because he's going to go for the leech seed. What are you doing there, big bird, big baddie? Baddie? Daddy? <laughs> you just got hit by a dragon tail. Get out of here. So, uh, I am at 1 HP because of the math of all that. I don't know how it works. But, uh, I am back at 1 HP, I believe I am going to go for the Dragon Tail one last time, and he's going to switch into Fortress, GTFO Fortress, what are you doing, what are you doing in there, son, oh my goodness, uh, I don't know how many times I've clicked the Dragon Tail button now, but I, it, it's like 15 times at the most, so I'm going to go into, um, what's his name, uh, Farfetch'd. And he's actually faster than me, even if, even though I am scarfed. So I'm glad he didn't attack me, because I'd be bedead and stuff. But uh, I am able to get the U-turn on him, and that's great for me because Stealth Rock is racking up, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wreck his team, um, because Farfetch with the scarf is just, it's too manly. It's too manly for the world, actually. You guys probably shouldn't be seeing this. Um, you, you are very, 
very, very, very lucky in it, being able to see Scarf Farfetch do this much work. So he's going to put up a sub. I'm just going to hit him with the Volt Switch. That's perfect. Break his sub, and I get a clean switch. That's really nice. Um, I can go into an effective counter, but I don't have an effective counter. I have Cast Form, and Cast Form is going to turn into the Water type, but it doesn't matter with all those entry hazards. Uh, even if he didn't have the entry hazards, who am I, who am I kidding? Seed Flare is going to absolutely wipe me out. I am Choice Specs. Uh, if I was Scarf, I wouldn't outspeed still. I don't believe. Um, I went for the blizzard, even though I was in the rain. Um, but none of it matters, because he does hit the seed flare. If he would have missed, and I wrecked him with the blizzard, I would have been so happy. But uh, Castform's not going to do anything this game. He has done work in Ubers before, uh, taking on a Garchomp with a blizzard. It was pretty freaking sweet. But um, I'm going to go ahead, go into Haxorus. He's going to leech seed me with the leech seed poison racking up. This is going to be awful. Um... So I'm going to hit him with the Outrage to finally kill something off. I mean, I've been dragon tail him for half the game. <laughs> haven't really got any solid hits. So now he's going to be like my Steelix, and he's going to say, GTFO to my Haxorus. But my Haxorus is like, what are you doing, man? I'm going to hit you with that Outrage. You can't hit me with the dragon tail. Get out of here, Groudon. Get back to your, your land-making ways. I don't even know what that means. But now he's going to go for the Dragon Tail again as my Outrage isn't going to be able to kill him. And he actually is going to tell my Hexers to GTFO out of this world because he's dead now, guys. He just Dragon tail me to death. That's something Steelix didn't do. Good job, Groudon. That's why you're Uber right there for that reason and that reason alone. Uh, so now I'm going to go into Zapdos and try to kill off Groudon with the Heat Wave. That is my intentions right here because it is Sun Boosted. And I don't think of yes I am going to be able to kill him because Zapdos is a monster what I tell you Zapdos is a monster in Sun also he works well in Rain if I have the Thunder he can just do whatever he wants actually so he's going to go into um, his Kyogre here and I believe I'm going to set up the light screen because all Kyogres are special I should get a banded one um, and that's really nice for me because I do have the light screen up and I will be taking less from that Scold since he seems to be more of a bulky Kyogre you know, since the scold and whatnot. So now I believe I'm going to go for the, the heat wave because it is still two times effective, uh, even in the rain. And Zapdos is going to get a third kill in this battle. He is just wrecking up Ubers like a monster. Ugh, I love I love you so much, Zapdos. So now I believe now I am going to actually go for the, the Volt Switch. I may go for the Roost. I don't know why I would, actually. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. And... Um, now I'm going to go into uh, uh, Farfetch. I was actually thinking he was going to die, but he sets up the Calm Mind. I'm like, yes, yes, I can still use Farfetch to his full potential. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I can, I can actually do something with Farfetch. And now I'm trying to debate. I, I do go for the U-turn because I don't want to get hit by anything. And Zapdos will be able to take a Scald with the light screen up, even with the Calm Mind. He'll, he should be able to take it from that range. Um, so he's going to set up another Calm Mind because my light screen is up. And um, I believe my light screen hasn't run out. So I'm going to go for the Heat Wave because I thought he was going to try to kill me. But he goes for the rest. And I'm like, oh my gosh. If he would have just killed me off, I could have came in with Farfetch'd. And then finished him off because Farfetch'd is such a man. But that's not what happened. So now I'm f I'm screwed is what I'm thinking here. Because I only have Volt Switch. I do not have Thunderbolt. I have Volt Switch, Light Screen, Roost, and Heat Wave. I like the Volt Switch because I can just set up the Light Screen, uh, do the Roost after the Stealth Rocks, and then just GTFO, and, uh, Rinse, Repeat, all that stuff. Um, lather, Rinse, Repeat. That's the, that's the phrase I was going for there. Um, but he doesn't kill me with the thunder, but he does get the process, which is actually kind of good for me because I can now safely go, f well, I go for the roost as he sets up another calm mine. Try to take me out here. Um, he wasn't exactly, exactly playing to uh, extreme competitive levels here. Let's just say that. Um, but... <laughs> Now I'm going to go for the Volt Switch, and since I am slower, I will take the Brunt of the Scald, um, even if if it kills me, whatever, I still go into Farfetch'd, so that's good for me, uh, actually being slower helps me out here, so I'm barely going to be able to even t 
touch him with that volt switch. Now I'm gonna go into Farfetch, and Farfetch is such a monster. He's thinking, I need to set up a call mine for when that Zapdos comes back in. But he gets hit by a flail! He gets hit by a flail! And that's right, Choice Scarf, Scarfetched. Scarfetched. Yes, yeah, Scarfetched. He hits you with the flail, and this is right. You will never see this again, I guarantee you. He two hit KOs a Kyogre with flail. Farfetched, you are such a monster. Farfetched for Ubers. Farfetched for the ban list for Ubers, because Farfetched is too much of a man, and he is too good. And he gets killed by a surf. What? He's scarfed. Why? Why are you scarfed? Why do you ruin my day? Why did you ruin. Farfetch was all good and stuff, and now I have to destroy him, and you can have Zapdos, and I'm just like, no, 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 why? Farfetch'd, ah, he, he would have had him, he would have had him, he would have got crit, he would have done whatever he could, ah, oh, but he just wasn't fast enough. Ah. Sucks for me. But, you know, that's how the game is played. I did get a kill with Farfetch'd, and it was on Kyogre. That's how you get a kill with something. Psh, don't ask Super Mario Poke, what does he know about that? I'm just kidding. You know you know stuff. I know I know stuff. I don't know what that means. But, I will see you guys later, hopefully. Come subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. If you really like loyalty battles, I have those constantly. Um, I do have serious battles, though. Don't, don't think I don't. I can do that. I can I can do whatever you want actually. I am an all-purpose narrator. Yeah. So, uh yeah, like do your stuff, comment, tell me how I did and uh see you later. Sharp pedophile out.